Have you ever wondered what goes on in the life of millionaires and billionaires, the luxurious life they live in, and the things they can buy with their fortune? But of course, they didn't just get rich overnight. They worked hard for it. Even if they were born rich, their parents worked hard for it too. In short, in order for you to prosper financially so that you could pass down your wealth from generation to generation, you have to persevere through and work for it. It's not as easy as it sounds because many factors can affect your journey. You could say people born rich have it easier to become richer. But let me tell you a story of this self-made billionaire, the guy that worked hard to be on top, the fifth richest man in the world, Warren Buffett. Let me walk you through how this man got super duper wealthy. Money talks in different ways. Welcome to Money Talk, where we could turn you into a money genius within minutes. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button below. And while you're at it, subscribe and hit that notification bell for Money Talk for more money advice videos. So let's get right into the video. Warren Buffett was nicknamed Oracle of Omaha as Omaha was where Buffett was born, hence the nickname. But what led to Warren Buffett gaining this kind of title? Well, this was because of his investment selections that dubbed him one of the greatest investors of all time. He inspired millions of people with his lifestyle and decision-making skills. Having amassed a personal fortune of more than $100 billion by defining current investment trends, Born in 1930 in Omaha, Nebraska, Warren Edward Buffett was an observant child. He had great interest in mathematics and was curious about finances and business. Yes, even at the young age of seven, he was already exposed to the world of entrepreneurship. A book he borrowed from the Omaha Public Library inspired him, 1,000 Ways to Make $1,000. Buffett spent much of his childhood engaged in entrepreneurial endeavors. So as you could see, he was very interested in the idea of making money. He was obsessed with becoming a millionaire. Rumor has it that he apparently told his colleague one time that if by the time he turned 30, he hadn't become a millionaire, he would jump off the tallest building in Omaha. Crazy, right? Fortunately, that didn't happen because Buffett started to get wealthy at the age of 21 with a net worth of $20,000. What led Warren Buffett to become that rich at a young age? He started investing at the age of 11, and from that first investment, he then started to invest even more. So Warren at the age of 11 had his first stock purchase. This was in 1941. He purchased six shares of City Service preferred stock. He had three shares, and his sister Doris owns three at a price of $38 per share. The stock drops at $27 before quickly rising to $40. Warren and Doris decided to sell their stock. He then took that experience as a lesson for him, and he learned that investing means you have to be patient and consider the possibilities when you invest. At 13, but the transfer that could have been a mindless job as a paper boy into a competition with himself. Buffett awoke at 4.30 a.m. to deliver copies of the Washington Post to his five buildings. Buffett had made $2,000, which equates to about $26,000 in our current currency. By delivering newspapers by the age of 15, he invested $1,200 into a 40-acre farm as partners with a Nebraska farmer and they had an income agreement. Then at 17, Buffett wanted to do a mini business sideline with a friend, so both agreed and bought an old but still working pinball machine for $25 and placed it in a local barber shop to attract players and earn money. The idea was a huge success bringing in $4 on its first night and thrilling the barber. After a week, Buffett walked away with $25 and reinvested it into another machine. He continued until there were seven or eight Mr. Wilson's machines, making him money around town. The startup business they built was sold to a war veteran for $1,200. When Buffett went to college, he excelled and was able to attend valuable lectures. Warren graduated from the University of Nebraska with his bachelor's degree in business administration. 
applied for master's at Harvard but was rejected by the university. After being rejected by Harvard Business School, Buffett enrolled at Columbia Business School upon learning that Benjamin Graham taught there. He earned a Master of Science in Economics from Columbia in 1951. After graduating, Buffett attended the New York Institute of Finance after college. Warren moved to New York, where he worked for Benjamin Graham. By that time, Buffett did not only want to work a 9-to-5 job, but he wanted to take on business ventures to make money and to invest in them. Did you think it was a good thing that he ventured into investments or he should have just stayed in his 9-to-5 working job? Give us a thumbs up if you think that it was a good choice or comment down below if it wasn't. So, in 1954, Buffett got accepted for a job at Benjamin Graham's partnership. He had a starting salary of $12,000, which equates to $109,000 in our current currency. However, Benjamin wanted to retire and was to close the partnership in 1956. Buffett saved up enough money while working in the partnership and he collected about $174,000 from his savings and investments, which is estimated to about $1.5 million in today's currency. Wow, that's a lot of savings. Buffett decided to settle back in his hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. He didn't live in a house that costs a million dollars, which he could afford. In 1957, he then created five partnerships and was managing them all from his home. By 1961, he had seven partnerships. Buffett made his first million dollar investment in Dempster a windmill manufacturing company, and his partnerships were now worth a few million dollars. Fast forward to 1962, Buffett notices Berkshire Hathaway selling for $8 a share and starts buying aggressively. Buffett aggressively purchases Berkshire shares. He now becomes the single largest shareholder of Berkshire Hathaway. He used the company to invest in other businesses and proceeded to buy two insurance companies which would be the first of the many insurance companies they would buy. This was where Berkshire turned into one of the most successful corporations there are today. Now, Berkshire has over 1,000 companies under its management with total assets exceeding $700 billion. Yes, billions. With his massive amount of fortune, Buffett is a man with a compassionate heart. He often donates to charities, with one of his biggest donations being $28.3 billion. Warren Buffett's life shows us that nobody becomes a billionaire overnight. He not only captured investors, but he captured the hearts and minds of people with his humble beginning and wisdom lessons. It took him 13 years to become a millionaire and 33 years to become a billionaire. Oh, and he still lives in the same modest house in Omaha, Nebraska. Well, that is enough money talk for today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button below. And want to watch more of our videos? Click the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos weekly. Let's learn more about money in simple ways here in Money Talk, where money talks in different ways. Thanks everyone and see you in the next video. Ciao!